Hey Psych2Goers, do you currently like someone and you're pretty sure they like you, but you can't help but feel something is off? You've had a few ideas of what could be wrong, but your gut is telling you they may have a fear of rejection. How can you tell? Well, if for some reason you don't want to discuss your concerns, or perhaps you want a few more signs something is off before bringing up the subject, there are a few ways that you may be able to tell if someone is afraid of rejection. Here are a few signs they like you, but fear you'll reject them. Number one, they try to spend time with you, and do, but often disappear. So, you're starting to get emotionally close when you notice they pull away suddenly that day or soon after. Your conversations are interesting and you talk with them daily. You even text each other good morning and good night. But then suddenly they start to become busy and then seemingly disappear out of the blue. It could be possible they're trying to see if you're still interested in them, but even if you then start to drift away in reaction as well, they often will come back to see how you're doing. This could be due to the idea that as much as they do fear rejection, they still can't help but care about you. It's best to discuss this with them and figure out what's going on and what they're thinking. Number two, when they first met you, they were really nervous. Is this person a crush? Or have you already been out on a date with them? Maybe you've talked to them a few times so you know each other pretty well by now. Well, think back to when you first met them. How nervous were they? If they were obviously nervous, it's a common sign that they like you. Many individuals with a fear of rejection will often be more anxious on a first date because they very much want things to go well. They may be wondering if you like them as well, so they become a bit nervous about the idea. If you notice they're having trouble talking and their palms are sweaty, perhaps try to ease their nerves on a second date and go somewhere that's comfortable for them. Do they have a favorite spot they often go to? How about a picnic at the park? There are many ways you can help both you and your date to feel calm and comfortable. And number three, they don't often bring up their needs and they're more passive. Have you noticed that they don't often bring up their needs? Everyone is different and has different levels of energy. But if you notice they've been acting a bit passive lately and don't often bring up their needs or desires, this could be due to a fear of rejection. Many with a fear of rejection also fear confrontation. Both partners' needs and wants are valid and important in a relationship. So, if it seems as if they're holding back on what they want, you could gently bring up the topic on what they need in a relationship. What are they hoping for in a relationship? What do they emotionally need? Are you getting what you want as well? Number four, they're often a people pleaser. With their friends, they're pretty chill, but with you, you've noticed they seem to be more of a people pleaser. They go out of their way to please you, even when it could negatively affect them. For example, you may not have known it at first, but you find out later they cancelled important plans because they didn't want to say no to your request to go out. Or maybe they don't express their genuine opinion because they try to keep one that's fairly similar to yours. They always seem to nod along with your opinion even though you remembered they felt very different before. While having common interests and opinions is a great thing in a relationship, it's important that they aren't altering their opinion just to please you. They may be thinking this is something you want. If something seems off, a calm discussion about your concerns could be a good idea for those in a relationship. People can have different opinions, and compromising can be healthy. Number five, they do silly things to try and impress you. It's a common sign that if someone often attempts to impress you, they like you. Even if they like you as a friend, they may want to impress you, but this is especially true when someone has a crush on someone. Do you notice they often try to impress you every chance they can? They may try to often show you what makes them a suitable partner, or maybe you don't know each other that well yet, so they try to impress you because that means you may notice them. They may just be afraid to flat out tell you they like you, so they impress you in hopes you'll approach them. Number six, they go above and beyond when doing kind things for you, but don't like to open up emotionally. Does your partner often open up emotionally to you? Are they ever vulnerable? Some partners have trouble expressing their feelings and fears. Some may believe that expressing their feelings of fear will only drive their spouse away. But one of the most important aspects of a relationship, communication. 
If your partner refrains from talking about their feelings, but you notice they go out of their way to do things for you, they likely do have feelings for you. But those who don't often express their feelings show them through their actions. So, pay attention to what they do. If they show you they care for you, they probably like you, but may have a fear of rejection that's holding them back. When in doubt, or if there are any concerns in your relationship, it's a good idea to simply bring them up with your partner. Ask them what's going on, and they may have an easier time opening up if you kindly ask. So, do you think someone likes you but may have a fear of rejection? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend, or maybe a crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.